Hello and welcome. Uh, we'll start off with another episode, and this time it's a bit different because this time I'll uh, go through some new arrivals. Uh, so uh, let's see what we have got. I haven't opened this one yet. Let's just open the box. Got some stickers and uh, infos, Armageddon stickers, and uh, some info about the new Armageddon album, Svindeljup at the Stup. Here we have Woods of Desolation with the uh, Torn Beyond Reason. And this is the repress. Uh, and uh, I think it's remastered as well. Sadly, I don't have the original release of this, but I have it digitally. And this comes on a gold. Vinyl, really nice. If you haven't heard Woods of Desolation, you should totally check them out. Really great uh, atmospheric black metal with some really catchy tunes and uh, riffs. This also came with this, with the lyrics as well, like that. If I'm not entirely mistaken, they're from Australia. Might be wrong, so don't quote me on that. But check this release out, Torn Beyond Reason. Very good. Then we have the new Armageddon album. Spin the loop at the stick. Some really nice artwork as usual when it's Amagyada. Really nice gatefold with the lyrics as well. And this is on a black vinyl. haven't heard this release so you should check it out really nice that they released some new stuff it's been a long time since they did it so uh, I'm happy and, uh, that's all or my ghetto fans should check it check it out Debut album by this band, I believe. I've talked about this guy before uh, in my vinyl collection episodes, and uh, it's the one man project Sky Forest. Really nice Re release of his first album, I believe it is. Comes on a red transparent vinyl. And this is the same guy that is behind the project A Light in the Dark. Atmospheric black metal, really, really good. Then we have the 
Dann Nor Nornir. This Verdandi. A really nice black metal release. You should totally check it out. This comes on a black vinyl as well. Try to see these guys live if you have the possibility. Really nice live. Also came with this poster of the band and with the lyrics on the other side. Really nice. And we have the band Arctos. With the release Beyond the Grasp of Mortal Hands. Really nice atmospheric black metal. This is their debut album, I think. This also came on a gold vinyl. these albums I bought through Nordvis Productions also came with a lyric sheet the new Hell Warden album. Really nice. Work in Morn Cloud. Also very atmospheric black metal. I really like this project. Comes on a grey grey with some black smoke or something in it. Really nice release. And this was just recently released. Came with a nice booklet as well, with lyrics and some photos, really nice. Some really nice artwork on that release as well. Then I finally got to buy the debut album by Grift. Fira Legier. This is some a really nice release, a bit rawer and uh, more basic than his other albums. 
some nice artwork as well on the lyrics. Poster as well. Nice. And this is on an ordinary black vinyl. And the B side is just blank. It's only four tracks on this one. Now I have all these albums, so that's quite nice. And then I really don't like these shrink wrapped vinyls. It's a bloody miracle if you don't get some damage on the folder. The new album by Sky Forest. A new dawn. And I also have the middle album, the album between the first and this one. Uh, I will come to that later in my ordinary vinyl collection episodes. And this is the transparent vinyl. Really nice. And got some really nice tracks on it as well, as usual with this project. Sadly no booklet or lyrics or something like that, so pretty basic vinyl release. Last one from Norris Production. Um, this is for a friend of mine, so it's not for me, but I'll show it anyway. And it's Armageda, the final war approaching. Very nice release. Don't see if you can see it, but it's a uh, sign. So that's pretty nice. Comes with a poster as well. And this got the original artwork. I have uh, a press from Litauen, I think, think and uh, unofficial, so it's another artwork. But this got the original artwork. Really nice album this so that was all the releases from uh, Nordis production and uh, now let's move on to some other releases the one we're listening to in the background is Ulf Kult from the uh, United States of America. And as I said in another video, uh, which I haven't posted yet, I think, I don't know. But uh, Black Metal from the United States isn't very good. 
but uh, this is an exception. A really nice release. Uh, Lupus Occultus. Check this out. Ulkult. Really nice release. Then we have a Swedish release from the band Enterbila and this is a demo, really nice as well, just recently released, also got it signed, check these guys out. More will sure come from them, and it's some really great stuff. The set looks like this. Blank on the other side. Then we have a band from the United Kingdom. Win Winter Mist. With the release end of an era really nice black metal uh, classic black metal raw and still with that uk black metal touch so it's really nice then i have a new sky forest album on tape as well a new dawn i haven't opened it yet so let's try and open it without damaging this fucking shroom crap i hate it this is so really nice Paper sleeve. This comes on a turquoise cassette with a pretty extensive J card. Some really nice artwork on it as well. And luckily, I have the lyrics here. So that's a really nice release. This is just some of the new arrivals. Since I started this channel, I got them tons of packages, but I'll only do these episodes once in a while because I want some more material to show. Uh, but that's all for today. I hope you have seen something new or Something you want to buy support the bands and the labels the underground labels Please if you have something to recommend me just uh, put it down in the below in the comments and uh, I'll check it out Have a nice one. Bye